What's up, you two? Sorry. <laughs> What's up, you two? Welcome back. How are you guys doing on this lovely day? As you can see, I'm back here with Jenna on our episode three. Three. Episode three of Bouncing Back. I got the name right this time. Oh, so we didn't forget it. Yeah. So anyway, i uh, gonna ask a few questions as always, and she has something she wants to tell you. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first off, uh, how have you been feeling? Um, have you encountered any struggles? Um, well, I've been feeling a lot better this past week than I have been throughout this whole experience. Um, I think I texted you about it, how I just felt more confident this past week. And sometimes I'll go through like my high confident days and then go back to my low, like, yeah. oh, I hate the way I'm feeling. But honestly, this past week, every single day, I've had great energy. I've had like the best thoughts about myself, which sometimes yep. can be a challenge. Um, so I've been feeling really great this past week and a half. Um, some of my struggles that I have been having having is headaches due to like not mm -hmm. drinking a lot of soda oh, this yeah. past week like this past few days I haven't drank any so like my headaches have been there slightly but I just take ibuprofen just to get rid of it yeah. um but I do find myself wanting to go for the coke zero sometimes mm -hmm. um because it, it's like addicting it kind of it turns into another addiction yeah so it's, it's good to stay steer away from like any any drinks that are not water mm -hmm. or like teas and stuff like that yeah and i've tried to like kept it at like one drink a day yeah so that's something i've tried to keep it like if i had a headache that i just couldn't get rid of um i would drink a glass of coke zero <laughs> or if i didn't drink a coke zero like all day and i go to a restaurant i would probably order coke zero but like that's been one of my top struggles at the moment um yeah. just trying to kick the Right, sure. so it's not like staying healthy and eating my diet is drinking water 100% yeah. of the time. So that's probably my biggest struggle at the moment. So, but diet wise, you've been really good with that meal yes, prepping. So, I how's your meal prepping been going? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sunday. I was, She's told me this pretty Yeah, I told Trevor this, but I was like, okay, well, I, have, I have two meals planned. I have one chicken, right on. Um, rice and vegetable mix they look both look good by the way the rice vegetable chicken mix was really good and then i get this zoodle pesto chicken thing from uh -huh. noodles and company i was like okay i can just recreate this it's something easy to do it's cheap and i can literally do it today so yeah. i bought all my ingredients at Lidl one day mm -hmm. and I was cooking Sunday and I cooked my first meal and the I had the crock pot going with the pesto chicken and so I went to try the chicken to see like if it was good if it was dry if it was tender if it needed yeah. something added so um I tried it and I felt fine I was okay it needs a few more minutes and I went into the living room and my face like on this side my eyeball would just not stop itching so then I was like okay and then I had to walk my dog and I came back in and I was like my throat feels tight and it feels itchy in my face and like everything itched and so I like I was like hey pesto so sauce. That's the only thing that I haven't had from this brand. So I went and looked and it had cashews in it. Yeah. And I'm allergic to nuts. Oh yeah. So for background, she's allergic to I'm nuts. allergic to like cashews, pistachios and all that. Yeah. And I've had pesto before, so I didn't think to look at the ingredients. So I looked at my cousin. I was like, Tyler, we have to go get Benadryl ASAP. He's like, oh God, what? And I was like, I'm having an allergic reaction. And I got some bumps on my face from it, but it's all good. She's still here. Yeah. So yeah, that, yeah that's also a big struggle. Yeah, uh, she called me and I was actually at home. I think, mm -hmm. what was I doing? Anyway, beside the point, she called me, told me that she had an allergic reaction to the pesto. And I was like, I, I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't stop it laughing. Was, I felt bad, but it was funny. Yeah. Cause I, I never knew that 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 was in well i never Me had a look for it because I, i'm not yeah. allergic but. i didn't think i had it in there because i had it at noodles and company so i was like it's so good i'm just gonna yeah, get it so yeah anyway that sucks <laughs> but i was it, it so was pissed funny. but i was laughing because it was uh, it was like so funny because it happened to be me <laughs> like she does her best this week to meal prep and something yeah, just goes wrong it's, not, it's always gonna be something and yeah. like even when you do try to do better there's always gonna be something. And that's after I had already put my noodles in there because my chicken cooked first. And then I, put, I was like, okay, hour before I stopped cooking it, I'm gonna put my zoodles in there. So everything was already in there. So yeah. everything that I cooked in there, I'm like, well, dang, now I can eat it. Yeah. So I have to so, figure out something else. So now you just have the, the rice, chicken, rice, and vegetables, yeah. which I might do for the rest of the week, but I'm not sure yet. 
I got you. Well, it seems like your meal prep's been going very well. It has for the <laughs> first few days. Yeah, that but other good. than that, like other than the whole allergic reaction, mm -hmm. um, meal prepping, you've still been meal prepping. Yep, okay. um, it helps me stay on track now that school's back. I did not eat as much last week because um, it was the first week of school at EC, mm -hmm. and I was nervous about not knowing where to go or who was going to be in my class and how my teachers were going to be. Yeah. So um, I was really nervous. Mm -hmm. So I, my appetite was not there. And like some days, my classes get out at like 4 15, uh, 4.45, so I wouldn't get home until like 5. That would be my first meal of the day. Yeah. So it was like, I did skip a lot last week, but now this week I got my meal preps ready. So I will be like, even if I'm hungry, I need to force myself to eat. Yeah. So um, they've been going good. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So you did say um, you you were gonna start going to the gym at ECU because mm -hmm. they have a big gym. It's nice, actually. I've been there. Yeah. Um, nice. So how how was that? I know you said you had a few problems or some issues with it. So how right. How was that? Well, overall, the experience of the gym was really fun because it was something new and different. <laughs> um, the crowd was kind of less than expected but it's also still the first week so maybe it'll like die down a little bit more like it was still more crowded than i was used yeah. to but still like it's kind of like a plant fitness level of crowd yeah but um so anthony wanted me to work out with him on like the freeway area and there was like a ton of people there i kind of got like anxious anxious and not that i was caring about other people around me but like i don't know it just felt different i was like no i'm just gonna go on my one machine and do my own thing and not look at anybody yeah. because for one like like, there was a lot of skinny girls there and um, it kind of just made me just feel discouraged a little yeah but that's why I wanted to go to my one machine and just stay there so I can just like look at this machine and not anyone just else it, yeah. kind of like to distract myself from what was really around me it was really good though like um, I did cardio that day I stayed on my little machines. Maybe yeah. once I get more comfortable around those people, I would like venture out more and do more things. Start, yeah. Um, but my first day it was a little intimidating. Yeah. And, and it's a lot of people you don't know. Yeah, and it's a lot of people I don't know because there was like a lot of groups of girls that were hanging out and working out together. And, and then, then you're kind of yeah. yeah. I was just there. That's and Anthony can do those things. And I mean, all power to them. But yeah. I'm really like, if I'm anxious about something, I tend to go away from it. Yeah. So that's what I did. Um, I had a really great workout, and it was I got on machines that. You you know in our town and mm -hmm. don't have so um it was also really fun and new so yeah overall i enjoyed it but it was like i wish i felt more comfortable in my body there yeah that was probably one of that, that's something you should shoot for like mm -hmm. where you could get to the point where you are comfortable right going, going to other gyms mm -hmm. and feeling confident in your skin and feeling confident workout wise like right knowing what you're doing because that very next day, I was like, I felt down on myself. And then I woke up and I looked in the mirror and I said, like, but I actually look pretty good compared to yeah. where I was at. So then I took another photo of myself, put it side by side. And I'm like, okay, this is the reason why I need to keep going. Because like this one You've person <laughs> isn't going to be me. Like they probably didn't even notice me in the gym. I just was all in my head about yeah, it. That's so that's I like, um, I just stuck to my two photos and I kept looking at it. And I was like, I did that. Yeah. And now I'm like, like, you've helped me, but like you didn't like literally pick me up and put me on the machines and yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah. So like I was really proud of myself and that's what I mean. Like sometimes I'll go into like low thoughts and then go into high thoughts about it. Yeah. And ever since I've seen those transformation photos, my thoughts about me being like, you know, positive have been up here the uh -huh. rest of the week. So it's like that's why taking photos is so important and we'll probably bring it up every video that we do yeah. together because <laughs> it pictures. really is important. Yeah. I told Trevor I was like on the scale it's not showing a major impact or difference and people aren't going to be shocked by my numbers. Yeah. But um, just by what I've witnessed on my two photos, yeah. there's been nothing but positive for me to like keep that and then go with it further. Yeah, and a lot of people make the scale like the end all be all. Mm -hmm. Like they see, and I know how it is. I mean, when you see the number go down or go up, whatever you're trying to do, it's very satisfying because mm -hmm. it's so simple. Something so simple from the number dropping or increasing gives you like either confidence or brings you down. Yeah. And you can't use that as your only tool because it will discourage you when you do see it stay or fluctuate going up or down right so don't use it as your only tool you should always taking pictures is the most important i think for yeah. actually visualizing and seeing the difference and measurements measurements is good so that's something else you could do as well as measure but mm -hmm. if you're taking pictures and you see a difference and that's exactly good. but yeah like i had trouble with that when you're talking about the gym like just not feeling confident and stuff and seeing all these people like i used to go to the gym and feel like the walls were closing in and I felt like everybody was staring at me. Exactly. So I, I didn't want to be there because I felt like every 
all the attention was on me when it turns out nobody cared. I mean, nobody watched me. Yeah, around. but for some reason you <laughs> like, just feel like everybody's like, oh, what is she it, doing? Why it's because she you're getting it? in your own head. Yeah. I mean, you, and it be a you were place. the one. Yeah, and you're yeah. the one that are bringing those thoughts on. Nobody is actually staring at you, but mm -hmm. you get so worked up in your own head that you feel like everybody's watching exactly. you. Exactly. And you just want to leave. And I would do that. I'd, I'd go to work out. My mindset was to work out. But then I, I literally felt like the walls were closing in and I would leave because I didn't like the way I felt. I can relate to that. Because if I went to the gym by myself at the rec center and Anthony wasn't there, I would have been like, okay, I'm leaving. Yeah, like, and it's I always good to have somebody with you. Yeah, even though we didn't work out together, I still knew someone in the gym yeah, that was familiar. Somebody. Yeah. Um, And like I said, once I get to know more people in the gym and hang out with more people, it will yeah. be different. But for these first few weeks, it's going to be a little tough. But you just got to stay in your own lane and only worry about yourself. Because if you're too focused worrying about other people and their problems, mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to focus on your own yep and that's when you can lose your sight of your future and what you want okay so what is your weight as you said you the last time you weighed was a couple days ago yeah it was two days ago because i haven't really been focusing on the weight that much that's why I haven't weighed myself these past two days because yeah. it hasn't like just registered in my mind. Oh, you need to weigh yourself this morning. Yeah. But the last time I did weigh myself, I was 148. Awesome. And I started at 156. So I'm two pounds away from meeting that 10 point goal. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that's something to look forward to and keep yeah. you going as well. Like, cause when so many people start out losing weight, they're like, I want to lose 20 pounds. I want to lose 25, 30 pounds, and I'm yeah. like, I want to lose five. Cause if I can do five, I know I can actually you can do, do it. it. You can do it in increments. Like yeah. So five, like, ten. Like, and increments. you can celebrate your small numbers. Cause I told them off camera, I was like, I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like, Oh, that's not impressive. You've been yeah. doing this for well, a that's month. That's very impressive. Today, I, no, no. Yesterday Today marked a month it. for me. Yeah. Something. So I've been doing it for a month, and hey, now. Yeah, I would say in all, you've probably, because you got to think the first time you weighed, you might have been mm -hmm. uh, a little bit lighter. Yeah. Uh, so I would say in all, in about a month, you've lost about 10 pounds. Right. And, and like, that's, I mean, that's great. Yes, yeah, so it's not as fast as people think it should be, but that's mm -hmm. the thing about weight loss. You're right. not going to lose it in a day. <laughs> Just because you eat a salad three times in a row doesn't mean you're going to drop 15 pounds. I mean, yep. it's a process. Mm -hmm. It's a process that, I mean, you're going to be on for a while until you get where you want to be. But then, then after you get to that point, I mean, it's easy. I mean, easy when it comes to the knowledge behind how to lose mm -hmm. weight. I mean, it's always going to be a mental struggle yeah. when you try to keep a fit body. And like what to go to the grocery store and buy and yeah. like what to get and what to look for. Because that's when I started this journey and Trevor and Brie actually went to the grocery store with me. Yeah. And I would ask them little silly questions, but that needed to be asked so I would know more. Yeah. About it. So um, that also helped me get through the first few hard weeks, and then now I know what to go for. I yeah. know what not to look at. Like I literally look at chips in the store. I'm like, no, I don't yeah. need you. I don't need that. Yeah, she and sent me um, that she was going uh, shopping, and she sent me what she bought, and it was literally what I would bought. Like it, it's cool to see that because when we first started this, like you said, she didn't know what to get. No. Nope. And now she's sending me pictures of what she bought, and it's like, hey, that's what I would have bought at the store. So that's really cool that you're learning and yeah. Like, I mean, a few months from now, when you do get to where you want to be, I mean, it's going to be easy for you to mm -hmm. teach somebody else and pass right. it on to the next person. Because I'm already trying to educate, like, people who come up to me like, well, how did you, like, what do you do at the store? Do you, like, what do you buy and stuff? And I'm like, well, I get this, this, and this. And so I've already helped people that have been around me um, learn more about lean meats yep. and percentages of fats and a meat. And so it's like, I'm already helping a little bit just with the month knowledge that oh, I have. Yeah. And, and that's how it is. Yeah. yeah. And you're here to, like, I'm here to teach you and you're teaching other people. Right. And that's how it should be. And it just, that's why I wanted to do this was to yeah. help not only myself, but, but to, like, others. help others who are either watching or in my life. Yeah, and that's how this, I mean, series is. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to do this series because, one, I wanted to help her, but I wanted to give everybody else the knowledge. Right. And show that it is possible to lose weight. Because we live in a world and a society where it's like, oh, you can't lose weight. Or healthy eating is too expensive. And I'm I'm making a video on that Friday. I might get a little heated in that video. It's a common misconception that eating healthy is expensive. It's not. It isn't. <laughs> it is not. And you've seen. Like, yeah. You know I went to Lidl thing. this past week with my parents and they got their stuff and I got mine. I only spent $25 yeah. for a whole week. <laughs> and that um, shows like it's not expensive. That's just an excuse. Yeah. And too many. Yes. If you go and get organic stuff and Purdue chicken, you're going to spend more money because mm -hmm. you don't have to get 
get that option. Like we were at the store, I got a whole thing of chicken breast and it was $5. Mm -hmm. A whole thing of chicken chicken breast that'll last all week and it was only $5. <laughs> so yeah. you can't tell me it's not uh, cheap. Yeah, a little of mine got wasted. Well, this still gonna be eaten, but not by me. So I still <laughs> have to like plan out what I have to go buy. I next. think you should just go for it, wing it, just see what happens. Yeah, just take Benadryl after I eat yeah, every just, day. <laughs> don't waste it. <laughs> um, But yeah, it'll definitely get eaten, but um, yeah, so. and it was like a great feeling because now I don't have to worry about what I'm eating for dinner for the next week because yep. um, I already know. And I literally got a whole thing of chicken tenderloins for less than eight bucks. Yep. Um, so definitely shop at your small, like cheaper places first. Yep. Cause honestly, Lidl's chicken looks ten times better than Walmart. Oh yes. And oh my like, God. there's so much. Not I don't so buy meat from Walmart. Sorry, but, Walmart, but no. Yeah. Um. But yeah, check Aldi, check Lidl, check any like smaller store you wouldn't normally go to because you think it might be sketchy or it's yeah. not high quality stuff. Even, well, even Aldi's. If you have, like, yeah. If you have a butcher, I mean, a butcher nearby. That's if you want like grade A meat. I mean, mm -hmm. go to them and they. I mean, it's all fresh. Yeah. If you're worried about that, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> literally I took my like I, like I said I was with my parents and I was like oh Trevor buys this yeah so, and they actually got like meat there and yeah my mom was always kind of sketchy oh the chicken t uh, the turkey white breast tenderloin yeah. pack oh my she got God. one of those yeah. I'm ready to those eat those are it. great because I haven't tried it yet uh, but yeah if you want to I did a uh, grocery haul video for anybody that's watching that hasn't seen it I'll link that in the description if you want to check that out it's mm -hmm. kind of I just showed what I buy on a weekly basis or two anyway uh, i'll link that in the description so you can check it out if you're wondering what we're talking about yeah <laughs> so yeah that'll be in the description so you should go check it out but anyway um i think we basically covered everything we're gonna try to do like uh bi-weekly check-ins uh just because a weekly check-in really isn't like it's just gonna be repetitive it's gonna be repetitive and we have more coming besides just sitting here and talking but i wanted the first month basically to be check-ins because that's what matters mm -hmm. is seeing like, how you feel the process and your will so, not be fast and like all the time i'm saying lose weight fast lose two inches in two days and i'm like yeah. come on now <laughs> whatever but yeah that's why i wanted to do this one to like learn yeah and also to show other people that it's not going to be fast or easy nope. and that's why i told trevor i'm like oh, but it's worth it yeah it's worth it because like i'm a very honest person and so talking about my struggles um just as much as i talk about the positives yeah they're going to be worth for people that are watching as well yeah because it's not all <laughs> sunshine and rainbows mm -hmm. it's going to be difficult Cool. and yep. yeah so we're here to show you that i guess but anyway i hope you've been enjoying the series this is just episode three but i mean there's more to come so as always i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and remember it's all up to you bye